got the Memphis Grizzlies versus the Sacramento Kings. Uh, right now, the Kings lane 11 points. Grizzlies plus 410 on the money line. Total sitting at 221. I couldn't get into anything uh, officially here that I loved. I, I still, I guess, am skeptical I get uh, of the Kings a little bit, but they keep proving me wrong, and they keep playing really good basketball. Grizzlies, every once in a blue moon, seem to pop their head up, and, and they're certainly trying hard. They're just not a very talented team. Um, so maybe they get there late, but I, I would still be skeptical because they certainly get blown out a bunch too. Cause they just, they just don't have the talent. Uh, it doesn't really feel like an effort thing for me on the Grizz, but, uh, how say you junior, what do you like here? Kings Grizzlies? Yeah, I think it's a bounce back spot for the Kings who got punched in the mouth by the Knicks after they got, uh, two impressive wins before that, uh, against the Lakers and, uh, Milwaukee. Uh, was the game. Uh, yeah, it was Milwaukee and the Lakers who they beat very impressively. Um, they're in a three-way tie for sixth place with the Suns and the Mavs, uh, which plays a factor into my, my thinking here. Uh, the two match previous matchups, uh, the Kings beat them by 31 in Memphis and by nine in Memphis. This is the first time they're playing in Sacramento. And I just think it's a case where the Sacra- I mean, the Memphis Grizzlies can't make enough shots to keep up with the Kings. The Kings are third in the league in field made field goals per game. If you look at the last 10, uh, they're at 44 field goals per game, which is exactly what their season average is. The Grizzlies average the fewest field goals per game in the league, which is why they keep getting blown out. Uh, just to put this into context, not to spit out like a million numbers, the average NBA team makes 42 shots a game. The the Grizzlies haven't made over 42 shots since before the All-Star break. They've had a couple of – they've had two games where they've missed, made less than – yeah, and they've had two games where they've made less than 30 shots. So I just don't think they can score enough with this Kings team on the road to keep up, especially in a spot where the Kings have been playing better because I've called the Kings fools gold on this yeah. show. So I'm not a big Kings believer, but I just think the spot – because of how well they play, then they get punched in the mouth and home, and then they get a team that just simply can't keep up with them. I just think that it's the right spot to bet the Kings, uh, because trust me, they are not one of the elites, even though I'm laying 10. Uh, I just like them against this Grizzlies team that just can't put the ball in the basket right now. It's as simple as that. No, I know. It's sometimes you don't have to do more than that. It's like, hey, uh, listen, they don't take mer- very many shots, and the shots they do take don't go in very often. They're not playing good <laughs> basketball. I mean, say so it's, uh, you know, we can we can get all these advanced numbers, but sometimes the simple answer is the right one. And uh, you know, the fact that they lost by seven at at home against the Knicks uh, and might have a chip on their shoulder certainly. Uh, like makes me like that Kings uh, bet a little bit more because you're right. Like maybe they could have slept walk past the Grizzlies if they would have had a nice win against the Knicks. But the fact that they lost on Saturday, not a back to back. They did get that rest. They do have uh, a little bit of fire coming off that loss. So yeah, good, good formula there. Shark, how see you? Any thoughts on the Grizz Kings? Yeah, I thought the the game line was pretty pretty sharp here. It's steamed up to 11 now. <clears throat> I didn't really know what to make of it, but I do like the under. For me, the best look in this game would be the under, and Junior was talking about it. Memphis just doesn't score the ball. Uh, and I was going through their metrics last night. Pretty astounding stuff. They're last in the league in points per game, last in the league in field goal percentage, last in the league in three-point field goal percentage, and they have the worst offensive rating in the league. I mean, it's unbelievable. Like, I mean, and. You know what's actually just crazy going forward? You know, a couple seasons. We're going to look back at this season and just chuckle to ourselves because this team is so loaded going forward with their guys coming back next year and obviously getting a top pick now. I think they have a top six pick. So you just think about like these seasons, like the season before Tim Duncan got drafted, David Robinson got hurt and the Spurs bottomed out. And then they got the Twin Towers and won multiple titles for a decade. Like sometimes when you have a great roster that gets hurt like this, it sets you up for so much success. And it's, I'm going off you know, on a tangent, but I just think this is such an unbelievable story. We're about to buy this team and make so much cash in the next four seasons with this group. So take the under tonight. It went under last time. These teams played pretty drastically. 103.94. This is at 221.5. Uh, it's not going to go over 221.5 in my opinion. So under the best look, let's dominate always. Yes. Uh, Log it up officially for junior on the Kings first half minus six and the Kings uh, lay in 11. 
Uh, yeah, no, I mean, it, <laughs> the, the, uh, you know, when you were breaking down both you guys, like it, I am on the top of my head, I'm like, yeah, Grizzlies aren't good offensively. In some ways it's impressive that they've hung around in these games and, and covered at least some considering I, I guess in my mind, I didn't realize how <laughs> quite how bad that offense had gotten, uh, especially post all-star game. That's, that's crazy. 